Oh, I'm turning my uh, my speakers on so I can hear the keyboard. That's how I introduce hour twenty. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. This is going to haunt me. <laughs> you can do it. I'm popping and locking. Feels good over here. You can do it. I can do it? And then there's glow sticks. <laughs> I'm going to speed up a bit. Oh, Double this, speed. Yeah, the timing of this one's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it an hour ago. Almost just the melody. <laughs> Here's personality cafe, amateur psychology, where we yes. learn that Hermione's Myers Briggs type is ENTJ. That doesn't even rhyme at all. Why did I think that rhymes? Maybe something. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. We won't notice. Don't worry. We're all done. Don't stop the phone train. Keep going. Garbage day. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Yay! Boots. 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 All right. The, the last song is just going to be a screaming sound. <laughs> oh, Once more into yeah. the breach, friends. It's just the sound of the hammer going back and then the gunshot. <laughs> sound warped and like sped up and down and in real time. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm hosting this. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm -hmm. So oh. uh, we've got Personality <laughs> Cafe. I'm Boots. Uh, welcome to hour 20 of garbage. I'm going to turn my speakers off. Okay, uh, welcome to hour 20 of Garbage Day. Garbage. 24 yeah. more terrible hours with the F Plus. We're uh, raising money for the Southern Poverty Law Center. We've got a, uh, should we sweeten the deal maybe a bit? Or just uh, <laughs> like what? Oh, lessen, yeah. <laughs> lessen the, the burden of it, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, come on. You okay. know people want bunny bread. <laughs> I like me. I would pay that. Okay. I don't have money. Uh, now it's thirty-seven dollars. Thirty-seven dollars. Thirty-seven dollars. Thirty-seven whole dollars. I knew. Yeah, boots. I'm pretty sure we should have led with the uh, other thing, like this. The Fifty thousand instead of me. Yeah. No. 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 We should have led with <laughs> me talking rather than me thinking, because I'm not exactly known for my mind. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe I'm gonna have to think of all that shit about Meg Mega Man. That's Mega Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mega Man. I googled it. Turns out his name yeah. is Rock Man. I can't even do shit with that. <laughs> yes, Megan it says your name Roll. Oh, Megan Man. Yeah. Me <laughs> Megan Man. This list is gonna be like three, <laughs> maybe four, if I'm feeling jaunty. It's just ugh. Hire Jazz as a consultant. Yeah. Right. I love you just as much for your sexy mind. <laughs> yeah, that sexy mind. That's that's why women have fucked me. They sure have looked Bunny into brain. my soul. Yeah, <laughs> brainy <laughs> brain. Yeah, there you go. That's way better. <laughs> yeah, so I make the notebooks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got Personality Cafe, uh, Psychology for Morons. This is a doc provided to us by the Eldritch Hat and Montreth. Uh, Yay! In the room Montreth. tonight. In the room for this hour, we have Montreth. Uh, Star. Hi, J.W. Freeman, Hello. Zarla, and Bunnybread. Yeah, yeah. And me, I'm Boots Reindeer. <laughs> He's Boots Reindeer. Uh, yeah. They should sing a song to us with an organ. I <laughs> already did that. Oh, that's already happened. We gotta, Shit, now we have to read the doc. I know. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, Couldn't I, you make like a 59 minute long song, please? <laughs> so, so on that note, Stog, uh, does everybody yes. have the doc? Uh, read the uh, the opening blurb for personalitycafe.com slash forum. Oh, the uh, opening blurb. Um, Personality Cafe, or PERC, is a forum designed for people interested in thoroughly discussing psychology and analyzing themselves, as well as the world around them, with various personality questionnaires. Well, what fucking ever? <laughs> what bullshit? <Chumps. laughs> These tests include the well-known and beloved Myers-Briggs, oh, Socionics, fucking love, like functions. Starting with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's beloved. It's yeah, beloved. beloved. Yeah, everyone loves the Myers Briggs. Yeah, great. My Myers Briggs is basically the uh, two mainstream one for this forum. Oh wow! I like picking four <laughs> random letters out of a hat and yeah. making them my code no my code word. <laughs> so most right. fetishes get started. Myers Briggs, Socionics, Cognitive Functions, and Enneagrams, all of which are somewhat loosely based on the personality types. Developed by Carl Jung. 
Hmm? Somewhat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as you don't think at all, this is fine. <laughs> he can't Young sit. Carl. Young, Young Carl. Carling. <laughs> the personality types developed by Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> <laughs> subforums are divided among specific personality types, though of course there are many general subforums where every sort of person ever to exist can pontificate on the intricacies of fine art, mostly anime and poetry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and then there's like a, a friendly guy for newbies, uh, but fuck, we don't need that. We're not newbies. We're pros. We're hell yeah. So let's, just, let's just dive right into this fucking thing. Hey, uh, that, let's play a nightmare difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> Montreth. Yes. Uh, you've, you've got some thoughts on your dad and your sister. Okay. I think that my dad and my sister are psychopaths. Ask me no. about it. No, we're no uh, now. I, I, do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Ask me about it. Hide you right now. No. They know where you live. As the title says, I think that my dad and sister are psychopaths, and I know a lot about psychopaths. I did a research paper on psychopaths when I was at college undergrad, during which I learned a lot about psychopaths. Oh, okay. I so also psychopaths are you scared yet? <laughs> Records. I also, outside of my research paper, read through. A Robert Hare book on psychopathy focusing on sections that talk about how to detect psychopaths. Uh. I have also read a lot about psychopaths online. If you I say psychopaths know. one more time, they appear behind you. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of psychopaths mirror, behind close your eyes. Psychopaths. Ah! No, not here. You were right. You abbreviate it, it loses power. Ask me about my situation or ask me about psychopaths in general. Because apart from suspecting my dad and sister, there is one person that I'm almost positive is a psychopath who I've known since fourth grade and several other people who I suspect to be psychopaths. By the way, my sister doesn't live with me and my mom is not a psychopath. I live with my mom and dad. Yeah. Everybody else that's crazy. No. Yeah. Prove yeah. it. <laughs> Uh, so I've I've got uh I got some questions for uh, Kazuma Ikazawa. My name is J Dubs. No, no, no that's me. that's the him. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? J W Freeman. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. My name's not J Dubs. You're J Dubs. J Dubs is asking some questions. What the fuck? <laughs> What is your background, education, degree, in terms of your expertise on picking out people with mental disorders? Number two. What specific behaviors from your father and sister cause you to believe they are psychopaths? Number three, you seem to be particularly interested in the subject of psychopathy. Have you considered <laughs> that your personal interest in the topic might increase the chance for false positives? I am Kazuma Ikezawa again, and I have some answers for you. Question <sighs> one, in terms of detecting psychopaths, I've been an observer of human behavior ever since I was like, Five. Wait, so Were your eyes closed before that point? <laughs> I have encountered and have been serially bullied by someone who I'm almost positive is a psychopath. Or just a fucking bully. I was in the <laughs> Raised by wolves for the first four years. <laughs> I, use this a Skinner box. <laughs> I use this person as a template for psychopaths, even though I know they can vary. I can describe him to you if you want. Also, I have said in my opening post in college, I wrote a research paper on psychopaths and read Robert Hurd's book Without Conscience, focusing on the parts that describe psychopathic traits, and I know how to detect psychopaths. Hey, hey Kazuma Ikazawa, I know my name isn't J-Dubs, but I do have a question. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever considered that you're just fucking annoying? <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I've also skimmed through Robert Harris' Snakes in Suits, oh, okay. which is a book about corporate psychopaths. I've also read online several writings about psychopaths and read over the Wikipedia page on psychopaths. Question three. <laughs> I have considered that even when I first learned about psychopaths, I went through a stage where I was overdiagnosing people as being psychopaths, but I don't do that anymore. <laughs> question two. No. Sister, one. Oh. Six, 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 uh, wait, oh, question three came before question two? We were playing a game where we took a turn jumping off a drawer. We would push each other off the drawer lightly. We did for this for about two or three turns and each, and then it was my turn. My sister pushed me off the drawer hard. Luckily, I put my arms out to break the fall. If I had hit my head, I would have suffered pain damage or worse. Okay. I ended <laughs> up breaking my arm and had to go to the hospital. 
while I was on the floor of the fall, I started to cry. I cry. I looked back at my sister, and she was smiling and laughing. She had a some psychopathy expert. <laughs> yeah, that's what you look like. Um, this okay. is one example well, just... of her sadism. <laughs> well, she, uh, I have seen her Joker smile on few occasions. One time I saw it was particularly unsettling because I knew about psychopathy and the smile, but I didn't suspect anything of her at the while. Dude, okay! Shut up, you <laughs> not <laughs> psychopath! <laughs> she my mother to this... stuffed animals out of the <laughs> yeah. Second story apartment. Oh, she's come jump out and get it. I did not know if it was to know you Don't bleep! Look, I have three more pages. <laughs> no, we know this. We have three more and pages. This is why we're trying to kill ourselves. <laughs> I'm explaining why my sister and my father are psychopaths. Uh, I, I have to tell you about number nine. Okay. Number nine, why she's a psychopath. Yeah. She's kind of a tomboy. Well, there we go. <gasps> well, that's, a sur- okay. that's a sure Damn. sign of psycho- psycho- okay, psychopath. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. She now, climbed now you trees. Want to hear about why my father is a psychopath. I got three more pages on why my father is a psychopath. <laughs> you do. Holy Does shit. he climb trees? Is he a tomboy? Uh, no, he, he's not a fucking psychopath, but I've never seen my dad look truly scared, and he doesn't seem to be afraid of death. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. Well, he with... hates his life. I mean, he's got you. <laughs> he wishes for. Death. I have reason to <laughs> believe that my dad and this nurse that ran a clinical research lab who gave me experimental medication for mental illness that I had conspired to have the medicine that I take dump me down temporarily and make me freak out and end up in the psychiatric hospital. I ended up in a psychiatric hospital twice. He, uh, uh, bunch of stuff. He then gave me a really, really scarily murderous look and sprayed <clears throat> something at the floor of the bathroom. He then sprayed the same thing at the door of my bedroom. <clears throat> to make a long story story long story short, yeah, I freaked short. out, called the police, and ended up in a psychiatric hospital. I later found out that he, what he sprayed was a can of something to loosen up door hinges. <laughs> <laughs> they don't sell that anymore. Okay. The, the I, great WD forty incident. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, one, there's one more thing that I need to tell you about that was well, really yeah. terrifying about sure, my dad. Sure, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. As I was terrified while talking to him, he started to move his legs back and forth and shake a little. He was sitting down. I interpreted it as he was wanted to laugh. Yep. <laughs> Period? Okay. okay. Right. All right. Well, yeah. Yep. Yeah, psychopaths don't laugh or do laugh. Wait, wait, which... They like Huey Lewis in the news. That's what they... Yeah, okay. Good. Thank you, Stog. <laughs> Finally, a doctor is here. Okay. Does somebody else want to take wild and, uh, before I go on more about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bunny, bunny yeah, Anyone wild. else? No, I'm wild and out. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm not sure about your dad or sister, eh? But because I don't know them. And B, because I'm not any kind of psychological professional, not like yourself. After all, you've read a book. <laughs> I've read, read two books. Two books two and Wikipedia. Two books. Look at that. Oh, my God. She has a PhD. But what is it about psychopathy? And that seems so glamorous to some people. I know several people who have either obsessed over it because they thought it was cool, have proudly labeled themselves, or numerous other people they know as psychopaths, or both. I think I listed three things. Shit. Both three <laughs> things. Anyways, back to you, nutcase. I find psychopaths so cool because they are the embodiment of evil. It's interesting to study how evil people view the world and how they live. Psychopaths live in a world completely different from normal people. They also have interesting characteristics. Also, the character Isaya Orihara from the anime Durara is a fictional psychopath who is so cool. He's really so smart. Cool. He's a mastermind manipulator who plays with people's emotion. He does whatever he wants and gets away with most of the time. Watch Durara and focus on Isaya Orihara if you will see how cool pi- psychopaths can be. I know it's fiction and it's not completely accurate, but not it's somewhat an accurate a a of a psychopath. Do it. Watch I- Isaya Orihara on Durara and tell me what you think of him. Episode two of the first season of Durara is really good. Watership to down characters? Although I know that I'm, that was my special interest in psychopathy, but now I, that you said, you know that several people I know who are ex- obsessed with psychopathy, I feel less special. Oh, so now I'm not see... interested anymore. <laughs> oh, bummer. If, so if you see any 2D people walking down the street, know that they're yeah. psychopaths because yeah, only, disgusting. only cartoons are psychopaths. Yeah. Well, they can get away with it. Everybody else has to go to jail. I know. I, uh, just, I just like to point wrong. out that, uh, that Bunny Bread, your, uh, yeah, your donation incentive has been met at the original value of $42. 
But he's $42. Yes. I'm worth $42. You are. I normally yeah. charge $100 per 30 seconds, but yes. All right. <laughs> Bunny Bread, you, you may be worth $42 in real life, but you're worth $43 in my heart. I love you. I love you. You know what? I'm going to go kill myself. <laughs> All right. Who, who claimed my $42? Skeeps. 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 Skeep, 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 skeep. <laughs> well, that's not the, the person. That is not the person I expected that to come from. <laughs> Later night, the secrets come out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, skeeps. I look forward to not talking about Mega Man for about a minute. Jokes on you. That's what he wants. Shit! <laughs> Hate you, nerd. Hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and so we're going to move on down to uh, quirky turn ons. I have more to say about oh, my oh god! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. no, you sorry. don't. No, you don't. We're done. We're moving on. Okay, we're moving on. Doctor Doctor Stog <laughs> says we're moving on. Um, <laughs> so, uh, quirky turn ons. I'm going to tell you a little bit, or ask you. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I'm ooh, I'm Water Sally. <laughs> By de l'eau salée. What are some odd things about someone else that turns you on? Non-physical turn-ons. And, uh, and, uh, 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 who's, I don't even know who's here anymore. <laughs> hey, we're all dead. Stug. <laughs> Stug, you're CJ3113. Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm CJ3113, and... My quirky turn on is watching someone sitting comfortably and reading gives me a nice feeling. I don't know. There's just something about that. Um, and then uh, <laughs> Zarla, your be hope. <laughs> Snoring ten. Yeah, that's, that's a full ten. Damn uh, right. I am uh, what? I am EMPT Sigma. Mm, twirling a pen if i find a attractive female attractive in my eyes is twirling a pen it drives me crazy <laughs> oh, it's attractive my. in their eyes like a pony i mean that's my assumption here yeah clips for sale.com slash attractive female plays with tech tech yeah mp4 hd <laughs> 1999 <laughs> and uh and Ma mantrath your Feminist nephilim Azrael. Uh, i am Puts on a wig and eyelash <laughs> extension and glances over at William Liam while strolling a pen. Gooey! <laughs> I miss a girl who can fight. I know you said non physical, but I don't necessarily mean she has to be a fit. Just feisty. And I'm uh, EMPT Sigma again. <laughs> that is both interesting and disturbing. Good job. I also like females that think they can control everything, but I already explained that in the poster thread. Um, and then uh, some very specific stuff. Uh, Sleepy, I believe that's J.W. Friedman. These J -dubs. Not... Mm, yeah, J -dubs. Sorry, J.W. Not... <laughs> yeah, 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 that's me. These might not be non-physical, and I don't know if they are odd either. And, um, <laughs> editorial note, they're not, because this is all just stuff from porn. Uh, okay. If she is a tennis player and wearing a white skirt, or more generally, if she is dressed up for sports. Sports suck! <laughs> Boo. or dressed as a secretary if she fucking sucks if she is playing an instrument such as piano Boo. or cello the arts suck if she yes. is an ESFJ what? if she is in a library libraries can be very sexy places mm -hmm. or <laughs> in a laboratory mm. yeah yeah so, if we meet far out in the forest, for example, I don't mean to sound <laughs> but it happens. Too late. No, it, yeah. It's the implication. It's it the doesn't implication. mean if you sound yeah. <laughs> Sorry. If she, if she has a nice handwriting. Yeah. If she seems totally in tune with society and her role, and if we have personal connection on the same time, this will definitely turn me on. So Sometime. a normal person. Yep. <laughs> yeah, if we, someone right. who can socialize properly. Anyone that isn't me, okay. Sometimes, if she acts like a stereotypical stupid blonde, Ooh. exaggerated ISFJ 
ESFJ so, behavior. Jesus I don't mean this last thing in a negative way. Sometimes it just appeals to my basic instincts. <laughs> uh, Bunny Bread, your night riser. Yeah. Damn right. <sighs> nice one, Neffy. Fuck you, face. So laughing so hard. <laughs> Shit, face. Oh, God. It hurts, face. Quirky ones, huh? <laughs> I don't remember any. Play fighting is a turn on, you know. Yes, I'm aware it's a physical one. I understand, okay? Stop the hate mail. That includes swords and bare hands. Swords is play fighting. <laughs> I was play katana. fighting so hard I circumcised myself one time. <laughs> if you want to translate that into non-physical terms, I suppose playfulness and energy are what I would say. A well-read man can talk about a wide variety of topics. Must be able to discuss physics and technology. Boots, are you listening? And open to psychology, math, languages, and philosophy. Oh, yeah. It's also incredibly hot. A renaissance man, as it were. Boots, fuck me. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, right now? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. Border now. Oh God. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Both is a Renaissance man because we all know how good he is with music. <laughs> Thanks, <man. laughs> I was just mentioned they're replacing all of those fields of knowledge with anime. Anime and anime. No, but anime. Also, I like manga. Hentai. Sometimes Yahweh. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm, skipping, I'm skipping down a little bit and reading another post by EMPT uh, Sigma EXTPs love to play fight my dad is an ESTP and we play fight all the time my little brother is an ISTP and he likes to play fight as well do all T's just love to fight or something I'd like to add yeah. that we play rough when we play fight I've gotten into trouble so many times for not controlling my strength while playing with my little brother I'm glad these are all things that are being said. I guess <laughs> I just get so caught up in it. Or he's a weakling. Mwahaha. I like the former. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's just see what happens when we look further down in the dock. <laughs> this is this is all strangely nuts. <laughs> Um, ooh, alignment. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dungeons and Dragons shit. All right. Hell so- yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Who's down? Shit. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Zarla. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're Nightstorm. Why'd you pick her instead of me? <laughs> <laughs> You'll get your chance. Oh <laughs> and the, 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 the question is, what is your alignment and how do you relate to it? I've been super into the whole alignment system lately, and I've just been curious as to where other people fit in and how they experience their alignment and morality, or lack thereof, in their normal day-to-day lives. I'd really like a deeper insight into how people of these alignments behave in day-to-day life and how they think their MBTI or Enneagram type may or may not tie into it. For those who don't know their alignment, you could do the alignment test here. Oh, getting on that right now. I love how <laughs> Can I be library lady? Which sex in the city bitch am I? Oh no, this isn't right. If you'd like to find out what sort of Dungeons and Dragons character you would be, <laughs> please see this survey. What D D character am I? You click the link and it just says you're a bad person. And that's it. <laughs> you're a dipshit. Hey, I, I'm either a dungeon or a dragon. I can't lose. So uh so, so bunny bread, you're a good what? old dreamer. Oh come uh, on. Yeah. Let me be a library lady. Okay, sorry, yes, sorry. Yes. Uh, Montreth, you you get to live your uh your true destiny is as library lady yeah because I, I this person <laughs> ooh, might ooh. be finished so i'm gonna uh do my uh finish how a finished person would read this okay good oh can you okay. do yeah. toilet pen i pen think i got read? lawful neutral the last time i took this i <laughs> guess that kind of fits somewhat with the stereotypes of my type the law is good and i keep emotions out of it Just <laughs> there, there are a lot of nihilism in uh Finland? How many people <laughs> kill themselves per day? I was pretty high there. Isn't oh, it? the counter is going up so fast. I can't. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. it's just, it, you're using it as a fan there. Just, 
Uh, at Bunny Break. Hello, you know, yeah. I'm good old Dre. What, yeah, what you saying there, Boots? Go ahead. All right, now. I'm good old Dreamer. I'm lawful good. Though I admire chaotic good. I admire from afar. If only I was able to do stuff. <sighs> but as an I in Fujiga, an <laughs> FJ 9W1, Christ, I don't know. I'm pretty much a cleric or a monk, <laughs> depending on whether I'm in healing mode or observation slash mediation mode. Rarely, I don the holy armor and paladin up to protect others as well. It's just a natural part of who I am. I really do think deep down, chaotic good would be more fun. But, but is not so much in my nature unless I'm with a chaotic good person and can live vicariously through them. Ha, 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 <laughs> laughing about my own stupid shit. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, my, name is, my name is He's a Superhero. <laughs> he is not not me. I'm not. Yeah, my yeah. I'm not. I'm not a superhero. He's a superhero, and that's my name. Usually, rebel and chaotic get all the credit for being fun. Lol. Actually, now that I think of it, I do recall being accused of being a rebel in the past. But yeah, I, that happened. But I think it's all about the motives. My motives weren't rebellious. I was merely just doing my own thing. Lol. I'm not a random wild card either, so I can't claim to be chaotic. I'm far too bohemian to fit with social. Come to mention it. Okay, whatever. And the lawful <laughs> alignment requires certain rigidness that goes against the grain for me. And even more so, although I'm certainly a law-abiding citizen, I know that I couldn't obey a law that goes against my conscience slash, slash belief system slash core values. And then I gave this up on the whole idea. It's almost like the system was made for a game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing you're pointing at somebody else to be a superhero. That was amazing. <laughs> so, like, if, if I were to fit in the whole Dungeons and Dragons world, I'd probably be a barkeep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, level one barkeep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is there? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, my name is Miss Shifted yeah, Bit, and uh, INTJ here. I got chaotic good. In true INTJ fashion, I tend to have disregard <laughs> oh, fucking for INTJ authority. People. Uh, unless there's a good reason for it. While well, my and the law's interests may line up often, I'm ultimately going to do what I think to be right. That's the chaos part. I also tend to have a bit of a, if I don't help them, who will mentality when it comes to stuff like this. I don't really see the point in trying to accumulate masses of wealth or power as all giants fall eventually, and I won't be able to use it when I die anyhow. Might as well help as many people as I can before that eventual death, eh? I guess that's where the good part is coming from. I have no problem with assassinating my king for money, however. He's dick. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Excuse me? Excuse me. I'm Sim- I am Simpson17866. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, the mafia don't br- the. Oh, hold on. I'm not. I'm not re- reading the right. Reading this in the right voice. One sec. <clears throat> the mafia don't break society's <laughs> rules because they hate the concept of rules. They break society's rules because they've decided that their rules are more important than ours. Does that sound like an evil version of how you feel about the system? Actually, yes, yes, it does. Good to know. Smiley face. I'm a law-abiding chaotic myself, but only by accident. Winky face. I also love coming up with characters from my fiction who break expected stereotypes like lawful equals judger, chaotic equals perceiver, and good equals feeler equals females, evil equals thinker equals male. Yes, that's not a stereotype that has been used before. That's completely <laughs> new and you invented it. It's worth it for me. <laughs> Same type or alignment. Friends, different type or alignment equals enemies. Yeah, that, that's like... also new. Good thing you invented that too. Mm-hmm. We're blessed Would with you... this. <laughs> Would you like to see the chart I've come up with with my for my 31 most important characters from my four most important stories? No. 
because here it is anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go into. <laughs> There's vomit in these versions of Voyager. Don't look at them. Read your next post. There's Simpson one seven eight six. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I want to interrupt. Oh, okay, hi, sorry. hi, 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 Simpson seventeen eighty six 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 six. I'm totally uh, not you writing as a sock puppet. I see that both your ENFJ characters are neutral evil or chaotic evil, which is totally different from me. But oh my God, you write Doctor Who fan fiction? Oh, I'd love to read it. <laughs> Thanks. My story is here. The TV tropes page I made is here. And wow. I break down what makes my character ENFJ in detail here and here. <laughs> also, notice that I described her as the lead protagonist in the third link. I hadn't finished writing the story at that point, And by the end, Jude had been demoted to tertiary protagonist. While a character that I hadn't even put into the story at first, Kira Sylvan, lawful good ESFJ, retconned into chapter one before I started posting. But long after I had started writing, somehow took over by a landslide. How, Winky anime how guy can a face. character be a tertiary protagonist? Because NaNoWriMo has taught people horrible things. Okay. Yes. Yeah, they, they learned like three new words and they misuse them every yep. time. You need more like characters in your read. book. Nobody's going to read your book unless it has hundreds and hundreds of characters. It's just, yeah. it's good writing, all right? Yeah, that's what I've learned from Robert Jordan and George R.R. R. Martin. Just add more characters all the time. But it's what I learned from Farmer's Almanac, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Please. I just no I just noticed there's poetry in this document, so we're skipping the fuck down to there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah let's right. do it. Yeah, uh, I this is hard to follow. Okay, so thy poetry <laughs> just <this> once, <laughs> thy poetry by Surreal Breakfast, but then also by Carrie Lee. Uh, I'll 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 start this off with Christmas Abyss. Uh. it's all so festive. All so jolly, the man in red, a loathsome folly. Baubles, Woo! tinsels, festive lights, Santa, angels, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Planning, shopping, spend and wrap, fight the cues, avoid the traps. Gifts for family, gifts for friends. Will all this spending never end? All good manners, all goodwill, the benevolence we now must drill. Obligations, gratitudes, a merry season, greater than sign, misconstrued. <laughs> Drown in booze and drench in telly, bloodshot eyes and portly belly, contrary faith, disloyal duty, patrons baptized in counterfeit beauty, spoon fed a lifetime in ignorance, bliss, the economy playground, the Christmas abyss. All covet and hype, excess and greed, a wish list, a wanting, an avarice need. This is a very strangely laid out poem. Is this still formatted? It's cool. Is this still part it's of the okay. It's got scoliosis. It's just yeah. Well, like punctuation. Yeah, somebody read Cummings once, and now they're like yeah. cab yeah, yeah, furious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Commercialism at its best, a notion we all attest. But still, we all remain obsessed. Frustrations always unexpressed. A state of being I can't ingest. The synthetic joy that I detest. This is way, actually way better than all of those raps we did. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was the same shit. Was, yeah. Can we redo rap hour? <laughs> <laughs> So with forced cheer, I smile and I wince. To be a Grinch would be a clin cinch. Uh, cinch. Mm -hmm. But fearing some ungodly lynch, I'll hide that Christmas makes me flinch. So Merry Christmas, nonetheless. Kind regards and all the best. All my love and add some kisses, XX. Thought of you and all my be and all best wishes. Have a good one. Have a ball. Enjoy the season. Goodwill to all. Whoa! I bring this poem Christmas Offensive. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> and there's no future in England's dreaming. <laughs> hey, uh, Azala, can you, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're Dharma Go and you've got a poem here. All right. I wake up and I feel bored. I feel like a bleak existence, hollowed out by the world. A struggle to be heard, to be noticed. Here am I. I can work, I can produce, echoing back. I wake up and stare into the monotonous hamster wheel called unemployment. <laughs> Long line. <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> I, what, what? I, I excel at some things, not at others. But why am I not seen? I follow the trail of fellow non plus 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 It's not a word you see, plural. What? what? Non-plus. 
sending CVs fruitlessly and desperately, at most receiving an impersonal thank you for applying, but sighs of weathered frustration whimper around the globe. When shall it end this search for belonging, purpose, happiness, and become the three? The three what? Uh, yeah, the what? Three. three wise men? <laughs> the Triforce. It's about the Triforce. It's about the Triforce. Yeah, the Ob Triforce of unemployment. Obviously. Yeah. Well, what do you think Link's doing when he's not looking for the Triforce? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Stog. for employment. Hey, Stog, yes. or should I say Snow Queen? I, I am Snow Queen, yes. How'd you know? Well, it's, I saw it on the page, and it, it, it looked like you. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Um, here's another poem that gives away my INTP-ness. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I love INTP-ness. INTP-ness. <laughs> I wish I put bourbon in my coffee. Um, it also links to the thread I started about whether it is dangerous to act like an extrovert. I wrote it nearly three years ago. Does acting like an extrovert involve like taunting sharks? <laughs> Deep shallow. 26, so 7, 2006. I used to be deep like the ocean. Darkest green, changeable, rumbling source of crashing waves. You could sink into my being and never reach the bottom. Loneliness gradually drove me to the shore, to the shallows of the mundane, the everyday, the material world. It's frothy in the shallows. It's sh it's shallow in the shallows. It's <laughs> <laughs> good quality. <laughs> there are few secrets and even less dreams. No opportunity for imagination. Less chance of surprise. It's a quick creation requiring little thought. I long for the deep blue sea. Me too. I think that movie's really funny. Yeah, yeah, my hat is like a shark's fin. <laughs> 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 I think yeah. they are like the ocean in that they're full of garbage and they smell bad. Uh, hey, Jay Dubs, I know you're a fan of experimental uh, writing, experimental <laughs> creative writing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so your name <laughs> is... Nothing I love more. Your name is Surreal <laughs> Breakfast. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh my. Per perform this however you feel fit. This is an environmental genre called cyber poetry. Mm -hmm. Open tag span style cursor pointer on click window open member PHP U equals 140. And I believe that is part of the poem. Yep, it is. Error, error. Norton antivirus dot 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 malaria. Alt plus control plus delete. Press end task if you please. End task cancel. ASDFG and HJKL INS SYSRK DEL. Quirky? Quirty, my friend. Can't you spell? <sighs> Your computer has performed. Any legal operations will be shut down. Boom, bam, crash, frown. Sad emoticon. <laughs> Open tag, oh color, <laughs> red. Dash, nine, nine, zero, 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 yep, color, pure red. Mm -mm. Words or text, green. slash, colored, slash, complex, sad, <laughs> slash, colors, neither black nor white, but bracket, color equals silver, bracket, color equals gray, bracket, color equals dim gray, bracket, color equals dark slate gray, Slash color, slash color, slash color, <laughs> slash color, and the like. Undecided, maybe color equals blue slash color, or maybe none of this is coloring red anything. There's nothing like. in between these tags. Yeah, <laughs> empty self closing tags as well. Color equals dark red slash color, or just plain old color red slash color. I know what you think. I should just pick pink. But alas, I've chosen a better color, I think. Oh, yeah. W, 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 please end thy poem.com. Clicking it, it's not doing anything. It's not ending oh, the poem. It's not over. This got program is domain. performed in a legal operation and will be shut down. Oh, Jesus. To a grouping of 58 letters to form some text, to form some text, some text, text, 12 words and 18 syllables that frustrate thy human brain problems with kernels, like a pop-up message appearing that tells you that you have a kernel 32.dll error. The first step to fixing any DLL error is to error, 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 not cannot compute new software. 
<laughs> oh fuck. Oh man, I can I can register please in thy poem dot com for like ninety nine cents. Really? Ooh. Well it's not worth it. <laughs> That's that something to bring to uh that's something to bring to poetry slams then. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that it's maybe too the most late. Annoying... I mean we didn't it didn't work. So <laughs> I, uh, I think that's the most irritating thing I've ever heard. In my yeah, life. That, that's one of the most irritating I've ever irritating things I've ever heard. So great, <laughs> perfect, <laughs> yay! Please end thy poem. <laughs> um, the next section is uh, the the, the Myers Briggs types indicator uh, for uh, Harry Potter characters, but Kumquat's not here, so fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> it's no point. Uh, Jesus Christ. Montreux, do, yeah. do you have any suggestions of where we should go from here? Uh, let's see. What do we have? Oh, okay. You know what? Let's just do uh, how to attract uh, I, I, an ISTJ I personality. The, you, what? I think do you want to be the president of the United States oh. is pretty good if I remember. Ooh, 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 ooh. I didn't get to read any damn poetry, so I want to be the world. Yeah, okay. There you go. Uh, yeah, so do you want to be president of the United States? Hell yeah. By West 97. Oh shit, President brings up a million things. All right, what was the name? West? West, W E S 97. No space. Don't worry. West 97, it's... like Win 97, but not. Just search oh. for Bobby from King of the Hill crossed with Hannibal Lecter, and it's directly beneath that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Got it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that was. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Hey y'all! You want to be president of the United States? Anyone? No. Anyone? No. Okay, that's fine. Just checking. The title is self-explanatory. If you want to be president, tell us why. If you do not want to be president, tell us why. I don't know, but it's just a weird fantasy of mine to be president. That's crazy talk. So <laughs> who does that? Yeah. I'm a weirdo. So yes. What weird fantasies do you have? Jack Parrish? Jack Parrish. I'm Jack, Jack. Parrish. Jack? You're damn right you're Jack Parrish. Yeah. Hell no. Parrish. I work on a lot of political strategy at the local, state, and national level. I've been approached to run for different offices at different levels. I have zero interest in being the guy in front of the curtain. However, I get a hell of a rush being the guy behind the curtain. Yeah. I love to help put a president in office. Yeah. Sorry, I'd love to. I, it's, not thing, it's not really a thing I've done a lot lately. But the more, <laughs> the more anonymous I could be well, as I did it, too, would only increase the feeling of accomplishment. We don't know. This could be Jared Kushner. <laughs> <laughs> more of a Steve Bannon, I was thinking, but okay. <laughs> Um, Sometimes so, when I'm really frustrated with whoever is in office or shows any interest in occupying it, I start thinking I could do a better job. But then my rationality kicks in and reminds me of everything that's involved. I'm terrified of public speaking. Some campaign campaigning would suck. I'm too honest to wander around the country just telling people what they would want to hear. Plus, if I ever got in office, I would be driven mad, mad, I say, having to work with Congress. I'm open to compromising with people if we are having an honest discussion and both sides are genuinely trying to find the best outcome. Unfortunately, that is a scenario that never happens in DC, which is why I wouldn't want to run for Congress either. Oh, I don't want to do many things. I want to tell you all about the things I don't want to do. So, <laughs> long story short, hell no! Sign me up for a seat on the Supreme Court. <laughs> I, was, I was wrong. This thread is boring. Let's go to the how to attract an ISTJ personality. Hell okay. yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, Stug. Yes. You're going to uh, tell us how to attract an ISTJ personality. Oh, this is a stealth wiki how. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, my God. Yes. The last minute. <laughs> Thank you, Montreth. 
according to the Meyer Briggs type indicator, people with an introverted, sensing, thinking, judging personality type are loyal, dependable, and devoted to their lovers, which makes them an ideal partner for many people because they are introverted and logical. It can take a while to attract one. Part one, meeting ISTJ types. One, identify ISTJ types. ISTJ types are rather common compared to other personality types. This means you should have little trouble meeting one as long as you know what to look for. Keep an eye out for common ISTJ characteristics. A. ISTJs tend to dress modestly. Their clothing is more functional than stylish. Uh, sluts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love them. B. I like ISTJs... all these slutty personality types. <laughs> B. ISDJs often have careers in technology, law enforcement, library science, or management. Library Nerd. science? They're cop nerds. nerds. Sluts? <laughs> C. ISDJs value structure, order, tradition, and loyalty. Mm -hmm. D. ISDJs are very factual and they can stubbornly believe they are always right. This means that they may start debates with you. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> So to find oh. one, all you have to do is express an opinion about a video game in public. <laughs> <laughs> so all I have to do is find a opinionated nerd who doesn't know how to dress. Yeah. Well, and find, the guy, a find the guy that's already <laughs> talking about Dark Souls and talk about Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Section 2 of Part 1 of Meeting ISTJ Types. Attend a board game night. Oh, oh you are all right. <laughs> ISTJs enjoy strategy and trivia games such as chess, mm -hmm. per Trivial Pursuit, or Risk. Find a local bar or game store that hosts game nights <laughs> and attend one. You may end up playing against an ISTJ type. Just be warned, oh, they can be I competitive. I hate going to the bar during chess nights. <laughs> this is so awful, crowded. man. Everybody's, you know, trying to fuck me for my chess skills. <laughs> Section 3 of Part 1 Watch a sports game ISTJs <laughs> intend to enjoy sports How are 2 and 3 Working together <laughs> Board games are like, the, are like Tiny little sports that you play with others yeah, You may okay. have luck Attending chess night At your local baseball teams <laughs> <laughs> You maximize your chances Yeah ISTJs tend to enjoy sports. You may have luck meeting one by attending local sporting events. You can go to a live game or watch it at a sports bar. You can get involved with fan clubs or fantasy leagues where you can run into an ISTJ. <laughs> That's it. I'm opening up a Buffalo Wild Wings called Myers Briggs. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, Myers Buffalo Briggs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is kind of boring, so I'm going to skip to part two. Well, let's uh, let's let's pass that on to uh, somebody who hasn't read in a little bit. Yeah, good. Montreth. Okay, part two: making a connection. One: determine if you are compatible. Despite being introverts, ISTGs tend to be attracted to extroverted personalities, such as ESTP, extroverted sensing, thinking, perceiving, and ESFP, extroverted sensing, feeling, perceiving. They are least compatible with ENFP, extroverted, intuitive, feeling, perceiving types. <sighs> oh, I think like, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> can you be a, like, just imagine being, than the, being like the kind of person that's just that's fucking obsessed with this and just like, well, what's your type? I'm like, I, I don't know. It's like, well, how, do I know <laughs> I, how do I know I can talk to you right now? Oh, start conversations. Yeah, I like that. good idea. I'm comfortable. I love conversations. I hate them. I'm an EFUK. <laughs> ISTGs may be uncomfortable introducing themselves, but they often like people who make the first move. When trying to get closer to an ISTG, don't be afraid to start a conversation or invite them to hang out. A. Send them a text every few days if you haven't heard from them. Even if they don't answer right away, this will help them open up to you. B. ISTGs enjoy group events. Yeah, yeah, that's a people. A defining feature of introverts. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're very uncomfortable introducing themselves and may not contact you at all, but they enjoy being around people. <laughs> you can invite them out to a larger group activity, such as going to the movies, a large group activity, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. 
having a barbecue or playing board games. <laughs> <laughs> Play board games. Play board games. Board games. Agenda going through this. <laughs> Uh, speak to them honestly. ISTGs tend to value honesty and integrity. When talking to them, always say what you mean. They are more open to constructive criticism. I doubt that. <laughs> so you do not have to worry about offending them. A. ISTGs do not pick up on other people's emotions very easily. <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. If you say, ah. I'm fine, the ISTG will believe you. If you're upset, say something like, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> Don't worry, you don't have to worry about You're offending annoying. the guy who's really into board games. I'm having a bad day. What? This is Monopoly night. Why are you saying that to me right now? How dare you? This has nothing to do with board games. <laughs> uh, and then, and then, uh, 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 J-Dubs. Mm -hmm. uh, part three, we're getting to the actual, uh, so in the how to attract an ISTJ personality, part three is asking an ISTJ mm -hmm. out. I feel like I gotta try to do a sexy voice here. Well, well you should. <laughs> it's a very sexy process. State your feelings clearly. Do not expect an ISTJ to guess that you like them based on body language, clues, gifts, or subtle messages. Since they tend not to recognize the emotions of other people, it is best to state outright how you feel about them. It sounds... A, it's, it, so, it sounds like you're giving instructions on how to take a picture of a wild cat. <laughs> okay, well, all right, my love life is kind of sad. So anyway, sorry. A, you, you could say, I really like you. And I want to know if you would like to go on a date with me. B, keep your compliments simple without sentimental praise. You could say, I think you're a really cool person. And I really enjoy hanging out with you. Do you want? To go on a date? This has nothing to do with Scrabble. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, is it a Scrabble date? <laughs> two simple dates. An ISTJ date type might take a relationship slowly since they tend to look for long-term relationships. Over short hookups, dates where you can get to know each other are best. Avoid noisy or adventurous activities like clubbing, bar hopping, or karaoke. Some date ideas include <laughs> A... Going out for dinner. Novel. B, studying so, together if you are in school or college. C. College hiking. is not school. D. Seeing their favorite sports team. <laughs> e. Visiting an arcade. So, and, they avoid a, noisy things, but like going to sports games and arcades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Arcades it's, are never, ever noisy. No. Also, I'm supposed to go to bars to meet them, but I'm not supposed to take them to a bar. Right. Surprisingly, no there's no, no app to play board games. And then just, <laughs> just uh, to wrap this up, just skip to number four here. Oh. Avoid grand displays of affection. ISTJs may not express much affection or sentimentality at the beginning of a relationship, so when asking them out, try to remain calm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold your hands up and back away slowly. Again, it just really reads like instructions on how to take pictures of a wild cat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how to feed stray cats that live on your door. Do not overwhelm on them. On, yeah. on your door. Do not overwhelm them with gushing compliments or extravagant gifts. Flashy gifts like flowers, chocolate, or love letters may make them uncomfortable early in the relationship. No shit. I got you this beef jerky. <laughs> got you this D20. I have brought you a dead bird. I caught <laughs> myself. I left it on your door. Aw, my patient. kitty loves me. ISDJ. Stop making eye contact. Relationships slowly. <laughs> and you can only tell when they are expressing affection by rolling on their back and exposing their soft <laughs> underbelly. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap to fall for. Um, that, was, that was, I guess, Personality Cafe and a little bit of WikiHow. Uh, we didn't learn shit, did we? No. <laughs> so so we, how to we got confirma a, we got confirmation that Myers-Briggs personality type shit is bullshit. I learned that there are psychopaths everywhere. Yeah. Everyone's a psychopath. Especially sisters and fathers. Yeah, I, just them. I learned that there are cool bars where you can play chess. <laughs> chess <laughs> bars. Be <laughs> wild at night. Silent arcades. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna go on break. I think is that right? That is right. Uh, Lemon's gonna be Woo! back. Uh, Achilles yeah. is gonna be joining us. Um, and we're probably gonna say farewell to uh, Zarla. We're definitely saying farewell to Zarla and Bunny Bread as well. I think. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye yeah. guys. Bye bye. And we'll be back in like five minutes. Well, they'll be back. I'm not coming back. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Boots died that day. <laughs> <laughs>